This simulation of the branching structure of the human bronchi is based on a fractal model called an iterated function system, or IFS. Since this type of model is based on a function instead of on data, we can specify an extremely complex structure using very little information. This application's immediate purpose is twofold. First, to serve as a training tool for medical students, and second, to use the existing knowledge of doctors to evaluate the validity of this IFS as an accurate model of bronchial structure. The complexity or depth of the human bronchial system can vary widely from one individual to another. Here we see the effect of changing the depth of the model. Once the fractal model has been generated, individual bronchi can be added to or deleted from the model. This feature could be used to analyze and correct differences between the fractal model and actual specimens. If the model becomes so complex that it cannot be rendered quickly, it can be viewed as a wireframe. In this mode, the model can be rotated to provide the desired view. The application can simulate the movement of the bronchi during breathing. This movement is also functionally based and falls directly out of the fractal nature of the model. As the model changes, the application displays information such as the volume and surface area of the bronchi and alveoli. Future research would include simulations of the airflow through the bronchial tubing. Eventually, this could lead to diagnosing medically relevant features in a patient's bronchial structure simply by airflow measurements in the trachea. In this way, the onset of certain conditions such as emphysema could be detected long before current methods would permit.